Well, good day, everybody. Today, we're out here where I planted my white russet potatoes. And as you can see, what I did with this one is I planted it and I started to build this tower up. The, the actual potato is planted about eight inches deep within the ground. And then I have about another foot, maybe a little bit more of uh, soil that I piled inside of this box that I uh, built here around the potatoes. And um, the reason I did this is because it's an experiment. I've heard people say that if you plant the right type of potato, uh, it will in fact get bigger and taller as you pile dirt up around it. And not only will it get bigger, but it will grow roots out the sides where you buried the soil and it'll produce more tubers or more uh, potatoes. And so that's what the experiment is about today because this seems to be very controversial. Some people say no, it doesn't work. Other people say it does work. And uh, so that's what the test is all about. Now I've already harvested uh, two other potato plants and I'm gonna show you those harvests as well. A and those were just planted in the ground. I have one more back here that you can't see. It's behind this box and it is planted in the ground. And what we're going to do is we're going to compare and see how well these plants that were planted in the ground did compared to this one. And they were all planted just with one white russet potato. So I've dug, dug down uh, six to eight inches or so. And what I've got here are some uh, white russets. <clears throat> and I believe these are a mid to a late season. So they should be good for the experiment with the uh, potato tower. So I'm going to go down just a little bit deeper. All right, we're back at the uh, potato area here. <clears throat> we can see all the potatoes that are not planted in towers, and I have one tower. Now this has actually proven to be the healthiest and largest plant, because I've already filled one layer, you know, uh, I don't know, five, six weeks ago, and there's at least six inches of potting mix on top of the actual ground level. And the potato was planted about six to eight inches below ground level. So this will be a good test. Now I'm gonna add another six to eight inches of soil and uh, I'll be back once I've got that done. All right, here it is. No gimmicks, no planted uh, potatoes in there or anything just one plant topped off with soil and what I've used is uh, peat moss a little vermiculite for aeration a little sand um, no particular um, measurements just what I felt was right and uh, to to uh, buffer the pH the the acidity I've used Quite a bit of worm castings as well all right here are the white russet potatoes i have one planted in the ground here one in the ground there one in the ground there and one in the tower you can see it's just really outgrown the rest of them so uh, this batch over here they look like they are uh, getting ready the the plant is getting ready to die so I'm just gonna harvest that today and I am using a pitchfork so I'm gonna need to be careful so I'm going way behind oh and I can see uh, some potatoes have found their way up through the uh, the dirt there so I will no doubt have to 
toss that one. Uh, this one right here got exposed to the sun, and that's unfortunate. But the good news is I can leave it in the ground, and it'll come up next year. So let's see what we've got here. All right, there's the plant. I uh, had a couple of potatoes here. This one here. Got plenty of them. Oh, this one uh, I managed to get scarred up, so you have to eat that one right away, and that's fine. That's why I don't really, it's not a big deal if one gets scarred, it just means you gotta eat it. I think that's a couple of decent size. One of them's uh, rotted, of course. That would be the mother potato. Here's a good size one. So one, two, three, four, five. Oop. Six. All right, so I'm going to use a shovel to harvest this, uh, these potatoes. I'm gonna see if I can uh, harvest them, hopefully without causing any sort of damage. So I'm just gonna dig around, lift up just a little bit around the edges, and maybe I'll be able to pull some out. Probably not. Oh, that's, uh, <laughs> that plant feels like it's in there real deep. So let's lift up a little bit while we pull. Ah. Yeah, 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 that, that looks nice. Okay, we got more. So let me just quickly see how many we got. And this dirt is nice and dry. We got a tiny potato. Oh, and another couple of tiny potatoes. So, oh, nice, another nice big one. I think this, though this is my best one yet. This one. That sure did good. All right, let's uh, see what we got. Anything in this dirt here? Nope. Nope. I try not to use the shovel too much. I just use my hands to to try and uh, wow. We this is actually uh, really pretty decent. Um, some that are some good size and that's a pretty good meal right there <laughs> all right so let's let's check out the box see how the box did so uh, what I'd like to do is prune a little bit off the top here because I want to try to lift the box up All right, so just quickly, I'm gonna see if we can loosen this and lift this box away. All right, that's good. Because I wanna be able to show you the, the roots and any roots that may be pro uh, producing uh, potatoes. All right, I just wanna start digging away at this uh, soil and uh, it's very nice very loose one thing about harvesting potatoes this way it, if in fact there are any in here is uh, it's easier just pull the soil away okay so far a lot of really good roots so whoever said that potato plants don't uh, produce roots out of the stems uh, is incorrect. My understanding, you need to make sure you get an indeterminate variety of uh, potato for it to produce this way. And uh, I think that's what I got here. 
it's very difficult when uh, purchasing or looking for potatoes to find one that says determinant or indeterminate. You'll find sometimes they'll say early or late and I think this variety said it was a mid to a late season and so I was really hoping that this would be an indeterminate variety and uh, the, the roots that we got growing out of here you know looks like it might be and even if these roots don't produce uh, tubers uh, they sure uh, help to support the plant and maybe we'll have some larger potatoes down below so I've already uh, oh look look at look look these potatoes are clearly above the ground okay the ground let me get this little little guy out of here the ground okay guys I planted the potato 10 inches below this point and this uh, potato is a good uh, six inches off the ground look at that and this one too whoever said uh, they don't grow roots off of the uh, look 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 um, if you said that uh, potatoes won't produce roots and produce tubers off of the uh, stems you are incorrect this is going to be a very nice harvest all right uh, let's check this side over here i'm going to break some uh, leaves away because they're blocking the camera uh, now had i started this tower earlier oh wow that potato right there is above ground level as well above ground level mother potato is a, a good eight inches below that so I'm gonna clear more of this soil away it's hard to do while I'm holding the camera I'll be right back okay I got the soil cleared out right down to the ground level so ground level was here and wow I've got a monstrous potato there that is clearly the biggest potato out of any of the plants I have a pretty decent size here one here and again, there is one of the potatoes that's clearly uh, produced by the stem uh, right there. And uh, yeah, obviously not a gimmick. I wanted to show you uh, as I did this so you could see for yourself. Now, I've, I've got to have a load of potatoes right under there. So I'm going to dig these up right now. I'm going to have to be careful with these. Uh, maybe I can get this big one out of here yeah look at that nice that is just beautiful i should probably save that one for seed um let's get this other little one off of here and this one uh, nice little potatoes and i've got one right here i can definitely feel that yep just right at the surface of the ground here. Oh, another one right at the surface. You want to be careful. Uh, oh, oh boy. Yeah, I haven't even gotten in here with the shovel yet. And yeah. So I'm going to probably have to eat these pretty soon because the, uh, this ground unfortunately because of all the soil that was on top is wet so maybe i probably should should have waited uh to, to before digging the this up under here but uh let's see what we got oh my goodness oh wow okay so close to the top again a couple that <laughs> that monster yeah so I know there's a, a proper or a better way to harvest these 
make sure the soil's dry uh, and uh, just be real careful not to um, damage the, the skin because oh wow yeah the the other potatoes guys had nothing look nothing like this uh, this is just amazing amazing um, granted you don't have to hill your potatoes to, to grow potatoes um, unless you have some that pop up through the surface that you need to cover up but uh, <laughs> if you get an indeterminate variety it's gonna be best to heal them a little bit at least um, and if you want fantastic if you want better results than what you would have gotten then you're going to want to kill your potatoes your indeterminate potatoes I should say the little red uh, determinate variety that you saw me dig up a few episodes back those those clearly didn't need hilled but uh, you get yourself a, a variety like this indeterminate variety you're gonna want to hill it because <laughs> look at this hole look at that compared to the size of other the other holes not only is there more potatoes they're larger I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And none of them are super, super tiny potatoes like came out of the other holes. You know, other, you know, that's the smallest one right there. And out of the other ones that I harvested, you know, I had uh, potatoes no, no bigger than my thumbnail, uh, some of them. So, uh, there it is. Um, So thanks so much for watching and uh, clearly um, the potato towers if they're done right will work if you use the right variety the right brand of potato if you do it right um, if I had started this earlier in the season and built that tower up I obviously would have gotten even more potatoes so um, this was just to prove that it's possible uh, this certainly isn't the biggest potato harvest ever. I just wanted you to see how the root system works, how the, the potato plant grows, how the tubers will grow. So thanks so much for watching. I um, also wanted to mention uh, the website uh, hdgarden.net is up and running. So if you guys could please, if you want to see more experiments, uh, if you want to see more uh, do-it-yourself tutorials on how to do build certain gardening things or garden uh, with different methods please help share uh, in particular the website as well as the YouTube videos and the YouTube channel uh, hdgarden.net I spend a, a tremendous amount of time on it so please check it out it's a good web website